Hello everybody, my name is Rachel and I am a guest speaker today on Helen Kish's Facebook page. We're doing a little takeover because something is very exciting that is happening for Kish and Company. Helen Kish and Tomas Kish have launched today two new dolls for their for their line, for their company. It's so exciting. This is the first time that Helen has launched her own new dolls on her own website and we are here for it. It is very exciting. Hello, Helen. Hello, everybody. This is your page, which is very exciting for your viewers and, and fans and yes. friends. What do you think about all this internet stuff we've been doing? I think it's incredible. <laughs> it's incredible. We've been having a good time, haven't we, with the whole convention and all the things? Yes. 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 It's been quite an experience. It has been quite an experience. And the wonderful thing I love about Helen is that I told her my idea. I explained it. It was something that they were both like, huh? But okay. And, and you said, and you just said, we're going to, we're going to try it. We're going to do it. Yeah. We're going to make these kits. Yes. We're going to trust the process and yes. we're going to do it. And it turned out great. Worked fabulously. Yes. Do you have to do that a lot in your career where you just have to kind of trust the process and, and leap and the net will appear. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, that's, that's the way I feel about it. If it if it feels wrong, then you know I I don't want to do it. But if it feels like wow, this really could work, mm -hmm. let's go. Yeah, let's go. I love it. So one of the things that is so exciting is that we're here for dolls, and Helen has two wonderful dolls right out of the gate. the The link to order the dolls is right in our right in the video, so you can order them straight through Kish and Company. They are very limited. There are two dolls. One is limited to 75, the other is limited to 100, and they are so cute. And we get to see them today for the first time. Helen, look at these sweet girls. You have been working so hard on these. The first one, and they are all vinyl. Let's get, some, yeah, get some light over here. That's perfect. They are all vinyl with mohair and the best wool felt that I have now learned about today. Mm -hmm. And let's start right here with Ma Petite So Chic. Right. Do you want me to take her out? Yes. Else? Let's take her out so we can see her. Okay. So she's 10 inches tall, like you said. And um, her design actually started with this fabric right here. I found this fabric and it was stretchy, and I'm always looking for things for tight, so of course I bought every every bit of it that I could, and I started the design with that. I used a little bit of it around the skirt of her top, and um, you know, the design took off from this fabric. Now, when I sent this to the, the um, factory to be made, I sent what is called a prototype, mm -hmm. and they sent back a counter sample, which is, you know, they remade everything. Of course, I send them patterns and I, I send them fabric as well. I sent them, obviously, the tight fabric and, and the um, wool felt. But when, and I sent them this, this crocheted cap, but when the counter sample came back, the cap was just not right. Mm -hmm. It was, um, oh, it, it was sewn rather than crocheted. Oh, that makes and, a big difference. And it looked, it was square on the top, and I thought, no, this is never mm -hmm. going to do. So um, I decided to order them without the cap, and I crocheted all the She caps. crocheted them all herself. All myself. <laughs> Look at this. At first, it looks like a box of cookies, but these are all hand crocheted caps vanilla that Helen wafers. did. They're little vanilla wafers. They are right. so sweet, though. So yeah. when you order this doll, you get the hand crocheted cap. Oops. Oopsie by Helen and then also she has to string a ribbon yes. through each cap. Right. They are so sweet. They're just so beautifully done, Helen. And this doll just fell over. And one of the things that I love about them is that they can. Because yes. when my bisque dolls fall over, it is the end of the world. Yeah, that's not good. Not they are good. great travel dolls. Mm -hmm. Have you, over mm -hmm. the years, had fun seeing the different adventures that your dolls have taken with? Oh, yes. Their... Yes. Yes. Um, yes. Collectors have sent me, you know, pictures of trips to France and 
sitting on top of monuments. It's just God, really, it's really special. That has to just feel and so And of course, incredible. you know, a lot of people do their own clothing and mm-hmm. I get to see that too. So it's really a lot of fun seeing what people do with them. How do you feel about that? Because your dolls, you design the clothing, but then when you see other people doing their take. I love it. I love it. I think it's, I, I love seeing people express their own creativity. Mm-hmm. Um, so if my uh, canvas, the doll itself, gives them inspiration to do something, well, I think that's great. Don't we just love that? <laughs> you know, what we've been thinking about doing is maybe launching a challenge where people have have a theme or something, and then there's a challenge for either a Tonner yes. doll or a Kish doll or, or both, yes. because you guys have teamed up and done a lot of things yes, together, yeah. uh-huh. and then and then have like a, a, a challenge. I think that'd be really fun. Oh, we've done that in the past, and it's really a lot of fun. Yeah. It really is. Cool. I yeah. love it. So we're here live in Helen's studio on Helen's page, which is such a treat because we don't get to do this very often, and and there's two dolls that we're looking at. So the next one is Tiny Tulu, little Tiny Tulu. Tag along, Tag tiny, along tulu. tiny Tulu. <laughs> she is so cute. Look at this sweet little, sweet little girl. Now she is six inches tall, which is a wonderful pocket size. You can just take her anywhere. Is that what you were thinking when you designed her? Because well, the, the tag along. Yeah, you know, it's a, it's a strange thing. And I, I've said this a number of times to a number of people, but the older I've gotten and the worse my eyesight has gotten, the smaller I go. And I'm, I'm ready to announce today that I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> the smallest doll I've ever made is five inches, but in a very different proportion to this one. Um, and it's just getting too hard to paint them. <laughs> Uh, yes. So um, anyway, but the, this size actually came about because we retired our Riley doll in uh, a few years ago. Uh, I can't remember what year. And people were still wanting Riley. So I couldn't do Riley anymore. So I decided to do a Riley type doll in a smaller size. So our original Rileys were eight inches tall. And this one is six inches tall. So she's just like a little sister to Riley. She is so sweet. And if you are a Riley fan and collector, this is the doll, the little companion doll for you. I love her red hair. The red hair is absolutely my favorite. And then these Converse sneakers. They look big on camera, but they're really not. And what I love about it is that she can stand alone because of them. Here, we'll let you. But I love that about her. They yeah. provide a nice little base to where she can. It takes a, it takes a little finessing, <laughs> but you don't have to have a stand because, oh, there we go. Because they've got nice little shoes that provide such a nice little platform for them to... Yeah, they give them stability. Yeah. I try to design the dolls so that they will stand on their own, but having a pair of nice... Uh, stable shoes does help them as well it does make a big difference Mm -hmm. oh they are so sweet very limited if you guys want to snag one and and they are ready too which is important to know we've got them in stock which is a first for us i think yes (laughs) usually uh it doesn't work that way usually there's a pre-order and then you wait for them and then they have to be manufactured and all the things but they're here on, on site. So they're, they're going to go out immediately, which is so much fun. Mm-hmm. As doll people, a lot of times during the holidays, we buy stuff for other people, but we don't a lot of times buy for ourselves. So January is a great day, to, great, great month to kind of get back in, in the saddle of treating ourselves. Mm-hmm. Now, Helen, one of the things that one of our viewers in the virtual convention, somebody said that they just didn't understand her doll thing and why she would wear a necklace that had a doll on it and carry a purse that had a doll on it. And she was having kind of a hard time knowing what to say to people when they do that. And I I kind of I want your opinion from an artist's perspective of how you explain how dolls make us feel and why it's important. Or why we don't even need to explain it at all. (laughs) Well, I don't think we need to Mm -hmm. explain it. I don't think we need to make excuses. Um, It's something we love because because it connects us with uh, humanity. Mm -hmm. Um, Dolls have been made since Mm prehistory. And they're in every culture, in every medium. And, um, you know, to me as an artist... I find that a doll is a combination of things that I 
love, which is sculpt sculpture, fabric, mm -hmm. laces and trims and all of that, and and design. Mm -hmm. um, all of those things come together in a doll. Yes. And I don't think we need to make any excuses for loving them. Perfectly put, done. We don't need to address this again. <laughs> Helen, mic drop, mic drop. That was awesome. Um, I, that was brilliant. And I think that is very important. And I think it resonates with a lot of people because um, it happens throughout our lives as people don't quite understand it. But then once they do, if they could take the time to understand and not just reject something they don't know, yes. it's amazing how people can appreciate it. Yes. For the art and the sculpture sure. that it is. Sure. So we are here in your studio and it is very exciting. We have what's coming up is the virtual convention, mm -hmm. which you, we had our first go with that together in June of last year, which are you, are you recovered? <laughs> oh yes. Yes. And it was a wonderful experience. I really enjoyed it. Yes. We had a blast and, and we, Helen taught painting and sculpting in the convention. And if you would like to still register for that one, you can and ex experience her painting and sculpting classes. It was so much fun. Are you sold out of those painting and sculpting kits? You know, I think we have one left. I'm not sure whether it's painting or sculpting. I might just put it in the virtual cell. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Put it in the virtual cell. So mm -hmm. the virtual cell she's talking about is the January virtual convention, right. which is starting next week. And we have a sales room and Helen has some wonderful things in the sales room. Mm -hmm. And of course you, you have your, your launch today of your, your new line. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of fun doll things happening, Helen. Yes. Yeah. Oh, so and what, you're right at the center of all of them. <laughs> we're at the center. We're at the center of, of, it seems like we're just kind of popping up everywhere, aren't we? Uh -huh. We were just, did you see some of the footage that we got with uh, Greg Ortiz and Robert Tonner? I haven't actually seen it yet, but since oh. I know both of those guys, I know you had a blast. <laughs> yes. And, and to Greg say the Ortiz least. probably kept you in stitches the whole time that you were together, right? He is hysterical. <laughs> and you know who else is funny, but has a much more, I guess, drier, sar almost like not sarcastic, but Robert Tonner's funny. Robert Tonner is very funny. <laughs> he is. Uh, I'm telling you. He, and he does. He has a dry sense of yes. humor, but is he... Wow, he's just bright and funny. He is. And he he has kind of a deadpan. Once I got once I got to know <laughs> yes. what he what his style was because at first he'd say something and I would think it was and I would like look at him like wouldn't know really? how to take him. All of these are he he made a joke about that all of his Barbies are number ones and then he just kept talking about it but it was <laughs> yeah. And but it and, and he has like 30 of them. Uh -huh. So I just was like what? Oh my gosh, but it was just anyway, we had such a great time. A we great had guy. such a great time. You'll have fun reliving that I'm and doing sure that. that I will. Yes. So we're here in Helen's studio. Now this is a peak that you don't actually get to see very much. So do you mind if we take a peek over here and see no, what's going on in this sculpting area? This is the backdrop to where we did the sculpting class for the virtual convention. Oh, yeah. What are some of the wonderful things that we are seeing over here? Well, um, recently I've gotten interested in going back into bronzes and what you're seeing here, uh, these are waxes. This one oh. actually lost his wing, so we've got to repair that. But um, because I don't, of my ephemera line that I did, I don't have this one or this one, so I'm gonna be getting those cast in bronze just for my own collection. Um, and this is another one that I'm having having done and having based. These things back here are actually stands for a doll that I, for, a, I'm sorry, a bronze sculpture that is a little girl about this high on a swing. Oh, how pretty. So she'll be swinging from these branches. Oh, what a great idea. And um, yeah. I love that. So I'm kind of excited about doing bronzes again. I love it. I, I love that. Did you, did something just in you just spur and you said, I'm going to get back into this? It's, it's like your roots. Yeah, it was, it was almost, it was just kind of a fluke. We ran across uh, this little swinging girl, a meditation on a swing is what I called it. It's, it's in the book. And I had, it turned out I had three of them, but they all needed to be re-patinaed and have some things fixed on them. So we took them up to Loveland and got that going, and it just kind of made me think, wow, I, I really miss doing this. I love that. So, oh, it's so important to, yeah. to tune in, right? To tune right, in and to right. listen to what 
mm-hmm. is happening inside of you. Yes, yes, indeed. And, you know, it's it's a nice, it's actually a beautiful medium. It's a, it's a very nice way if you can afford it. And it, it is more expensive, uh, very much more expensive. But if you can afford it to get your work done in bronze rather than something less... Uh, something less stable like resin Mm -hmm. so yeah oh I love it so we're here in Helen's uh, studio and we're going to now look at a couple dolls that she is going to put into the virtual convention sales room and one that's already sold but she is so marvelous we have to see her so let's look and see so this Feast of St. Lucia doll is one of my favorite dolls that I've seen from you in a very long time yes she is absolutely stunning and she is going to one of your longtime collectors. Yes. She is just incredible. And I love that you made this dress because we've been we have a hanky dress making class in the convention coming Oh, up. really? Yeah. That's wonderful. Is, yeah, so it's super fun. And this is a large hanky. This isn't a hanky that you blow your nose in. This is like a No, I, a it, I don't think anyone ever blew their nose <laughs> into this. It's absolutely pristine. Yes. And the work on it is so exquisite. I don't even know what this is called, but uh, it's just so delicate and so beautifully done. So I love it. It belongs on her. It does belong on her. Yes. And then a couple more of the wonderful dolls. Helen, you finished yes. this one yesterday. What this, did you do to Runa? Well, this is going to be in the in the virtual doll uh, sales room. And what I did with her is I put a short black mohair wig on her and I painted her eyes green. And then this dress was actually one made by Sissy Lingle, who does hanky dresses. Yes. I, is she doing your She workshop? is. Oh, yes, that's she fantastic. is. fantastic. She's not teaching it, but she's in it. That's so yeah. fun. Yeah. So she came with a, a, a pinafore that is just beautiful. It's, it's gorgeous. It's probably one of a kind. But I, I took it off because I had to do a little adjustment. And I looked at this dress, and I love this dress by itself. Mm-hmm. So what I did instead was I made a sash for her. And I'm saving the pinafore for something else. Oh, I love it, though. But um, Did you paint those lips? Because they match the sash so beautifully. Mm-hmm. It, it looks... Yep, oh, yep, yep. 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 And, and this one is going to be on the sale as well. She's another one of uh, Sissy Lingle's uh, beautiful little hanky dresses. Um, the, the fabric on this and this, of course, is always Liberty of London. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, wonderful. Which is really, really fine fabric. And then this little fellow, oh, I love him, is of course not mine. I don't make bears, but he is an artist design bear by Candy Taylor, and he's got a double jointed neck. I don't know if you can see this, but I love the head moves and the neck moves. So fun. So that's pretty pretty neat. He has a tremendous amount of personality. Oh, he does. He's he he loves to he loves to lounge. What a fun little guy. (laughs) Otis the lounger. Otis the lounger, and I love the name. (laughs) Yes. So, so much fun. So one of the things that we're going to be doing is um, taking a quick peek. Also, we're not doing it on this video, but we're, Helen has such a wonderful collection mm-hmm. of her own work. And we're going to go down there and just take a couple couple peeks. But uh, if you would like to order Hel- Helen's wonderful dolls that she has just debuted today, I think they're a wonderful price point as well. I know you mm-hmm. work really hard on keeping it yes. affordable, which is um, a hard thing to do these days. It's getting more and more difficult. Yes. Uh, because prices have just been escalating. Yes. In, uh, in, you know, from our sources. Yes. I think I just think it's a really important thing to touch on, though, because we yes. we went through this in our virtual convention. I wanted more dolls, but to make them was more than what I was could, could even. We just couldn't do it. Right. We couldn't do it. Right. So it it's important to touch on that because things are getting harder and harder to make and mm-hmm. and thing and stuff. So when you can get the opportunity to get one, it's it's a good it's a good opportunity. Yes. So and Helen has them here, ready to go. It's yep. very exciting. Yep. Good job, Helen and Tomas. Congratulations on your launch. Thank you. Kitchencompany.com, everybody. It's awesome. Under shop, you can go see what she has. Yep. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. Bye.